Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on October 1st, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Starting here looking at our sun. Very blank disc. One small sunspot region firing up on the bottom left there. There no coronal holes to talk about either. So our solar wind speeds have calmed down after our increase the last couple days. Sitting now at just over 400 kilometers per second. And normally our regular wind speeds are about 300 kilometers per second. So we still have a small stream affecting us. Let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world. Largest here, 5.9 down in the East Pacific Rise. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours. Here we are, 5.9 at a 10 kilometer depth. Southern East Pacific Rise. We saw quite a bit of movement, South America and North America as well. No deep earthquakes to talk about. 5.3 here in New Zealand today. Around the world we go. 5.2 Broken Ridge, Indian Ocean. And then here, North America, Texas. Receiving a 4.0 last night. Snyder, Texas. Five kilometer depth. Another 2.5 here. West side of the Ring of Fire, 5.0 here in Olga, Russia. 312 kilometer depth. So that is the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. Again, 5.2 Broken Ridge. It's an interesting spot for earthquake. And then throughout Central America as well, a bunch of fours ringing off straight up. Mexican coastline, 4.3, 4.3 and a 4.2. Libertad, Salvador, Guatemala, and as well Mexico. Santiago, Pinotepa. And that is exactly where tropical storm Um, which storm is let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world we go it's been a semi-quiet week we've seen very busy active seven days for earthquakes before and this is not very active What's active is the size of the earthquakes as we had four, 6.0 and greater this week. Indonesia, South America. Stay aware and prepared. Let's look at here the last three days for this large moving system that dumped almost six feet of snow through Montana and four feet of snow through lower parts of southern Alberta towards the border. So the large system got blocked in Oregon and Washington and then it broke apart. One small clipper moved northeast into Saskatchewan and Manitoba. 
And that's why Calgary didn't get as much as they were projecting because that system did not make it over the mountains as fast as they thought it would. The center of the low is still over the Northwest Rockies. It should be going through today. Let's look at the last 48 hours for total precipital water around the world. Strange Atlantic still watching some strange patterns there as Hurricane Lorenzo is on its way to the United Kingdom, taking a direct path at Ireland. You'll see in the five-day forecast coming right up. West Pacific tropical cyclone Mai Tag is still alive and will be affecting Shanghai, South China Sea, and Korea the next 24 hours. Now let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Starting out here looking at tropical storm, tropical cyclone Mai Tag, who is now category one. Heading straight across Korea and Japan and up into Russia after that. Still a pretty intense storm, a lot of moisture associated with this typhoon. Pacific Ocean, no areas of interest to talk about. east side of the Pacific We've got a low pressure system heading into Alaska in the coming days very slow moving system at that it's going to be a lot of moisture and overlooking Canada things are really starting to cool down Ontario will be receiving some thunderstorms today as those cold temperatures are trying to push south. Watch for pop-up thunderstorms along the convergence line. That low pressure system come from the north. Still some very warm temperatures in southeast United States, so extreme weather will be prevalent throughout the week. Here we are overlooking tropical cyclone Lorenzo. Five day forecast showing direct hit with Ireland and then watching that huge, massive low pressure system spinning above it, just below Greenland. Keep an eye on that over the next few days. And Russia really starting to cool off. Large low pressure systems coming from the Arctic fueling down those cold temperatures and a lot of snow. Again, no areas of interest here for cyclones in the Indian Ocean. Overlooking South Africa as they've got a cool down happening right now. High pressure ridge from the Antarctic move in. Higher elevations, they saw some freezing temperatures yesterday. But you can see here, very cool South Africa. Leave you looking at here, Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Low pressure systems, polar vortex, Thank you, everybody, for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. And I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining the family. Much love to you all. God bless humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.